Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our Scout Selections here for Saturday, June 11th. For again, today's play of the day, a quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a nice day starting off with the play of the day. We had a nice winner with Kavon Looney over seven and a half rebounds at minus 125 on DraftKings. Really never in doubt. He had nine rebounds in the first half. So when you cash a prop at halftime, it doesn't really get much easier than that. And then on top of that, we ended up having the farm play for the back to the window show, which I was in charge of. And I came up with the Liberty team total over 80 and a half in the WNBA and the Liberty scored 97. So two nice and easy winners. Look for another winner here on Saturday. And for the play that they were to go to baseball, looking at a game between the Red Sox and the Mariners taking place at around 10 PM Eastern time. And for this play, we're going to take a dog in this one. We're going to take the Red Sox and the money line at plus 114 on bet online time recording of 940 AM Eastern time. Covered is why I like the Red Sox in this spot. First of all, Boston has been playing some of the best baseball of any team in the league recently. The Red Sox have won eight of their last nine games. On top of that, Boston has dominated the head-to-head up to this point as the Red Sox are 5-0 and straight up against Seattle this season, which makes me wonder why the Red Sox are dogs in this spot. Plus, Boston does have the better starting pitcher on the mound as Michael Waka is pitching for the Sox, and he's been amazing all season long, and he's been especially good recently. Last two starts, 14 and two-thirds innings pitched, zero earned runs. On top of that, in his last start, he had a complete game shutout against the Angels. So Waka's pitching insanely well right now, and I think he should fare well once again against Seattle's offense on Saturday. Meanwhile, you have Kirby pitching for Seattle, who's been decent so far this season. However, he did pitch against Boston earlier this year, and it did not, it did not go well. Five innings pitch, nine ERA. So with him struggling against Boston his first time around, I think he has a decent chance of struggling once again. And with Waka's really solid form, I do question if Seattle will be able to score enough to beat Boston in the spot, especially if Boston ends up getting to, let's just say, four runs in this game. I'm not so certain Seattle's going to get to four as well. So Boston should be in a decent spot to pick up a win here. Plus, if it's a close game late, Boston does have the better bullpen, according to bullpen ERA. So I do think Boston has a chance to come from behind, even if the first couple of innings don't go their way. Plus, Seattle has really struggled in the favorite role recently. The Mariners are 2-5 and five straight up in their last seven games as a favorite. So I don't exactly trust them when they're laying juice. But I really don't understand why Boston as a whole is a dog in this spot. The Red Sox winning 8 of 9 and winning each of the five meetings up to this point and has arguably the better starting pitcher on the mound – I really don't know why Boston's plus 114 here. I'll take the hotter team that's dominated this particular opponent up to this point with the better pitcher at plus money. So play that once again here for Saturday, June 11th. It's going to be on the Red Sox money line at plus 114 on Bet Online. Bye, everyone.